What's up minutes? Hello and welcome back to another Wednesday video. Today we are reviewing The Longest Road. This is a free-to-play game I found on HIO. It's made by Two Shoot Lou, the same dude that made this patch, a game I covered a few weeks back. From what I gathered, it's a survival game in a dystopian future. It's all black and white and depressing and that's exactly what I need right now. There's gonna be a link down below to it in the description if you want to check it out yourself, but without further ado, let's hit new game and see what's up. Warning, this is very early alpha and all assets are subject to change. Well, this game was made in 2017, so... Yeah, what is happening? Do I click? Do I move? <gasps> I do! I just got up. Hello, so that's our main boy. Cool, so WASD and... Uh, and space to jump, I can't go there. The smoke is an impenetrable wall, help! Where the hell am I? So the reason this game caught my eye is because I'm a sucker for moody games and the main menu music just made me fall in love with it already. So let's see what's up. We we woke up and we don't know where we are. That's cool. What? Is that a backpack? That's a backpack plus backpack. I don't know how to open it. Is it I? Nope. Oh, Alright, let's just keep going, I guess. I'm a... There's a person hanging off a lamppost and that dude is just smoking. What a horrible way to go. Yeah. I would, I would definitely say so. What is up with his face? Hi there, stranger. Uh, hey, how's it going? Sorry, I don't have time for this. Give me all your shit now! <laughs> so this game is sort of a story with choices, so I don't know. Uh, hey, how's it going? Not good. There's some rother by the hospital, so I can't get my meds. Rother? Oh, yeah, no, I did see zombies in the tag, so this is zombie apocalypse then. Do you expect me to punch you to death? There's no way to skip dialogue, that's cool. Take this, it might help you. Plus flashlight, press 1 to use. Dude, thanks, unless the zombies in this game hate light, then I'm screwed. Also, why am I just helping the random stranger? I mean, he needs med. What? He needs meds, but like, what? Oh, they do hate light. Holy crap. Okay. Looks like it used to be human. Uh, okay, cool. So that's a leg. I didn't realize that's what I'm looking at. Okay, cool. Ladder. Can I speed run the ladder? Nope. Plus medic out center. Haha. <laughs> oh shit. Can I guide the light? No. But that dude ran away. Open door, walk away. Open the door, bro. It's locked. Shit. What do I do then? Am I screwed? Something else is gonna be waiting for me down there. I swear to god, dude. Okay, maybe I talk to the stranger again. Okay, so, I mean, it's okay for it to have bugs, you know, it was very early alpha release, but I definitely did not expect this. Why am I a magnet for stuff like this in games? I don't understand, this used to be alpha, what happened? Hey dude! Thank you. Now I may survive the night. I didn't pick anything up, but, but I didn't pick up any meds! Is this the game? Did I complete it? Oh cool, I can't go back. Great, great. So I'm gonna assume that I was definitely supposed to do something else at the hospital that I didn't. And uh, the game doesn't have a failsafe for if I just go back without meds. I wonder if I already broke it beyond repair. I really hope I didn't. Is the creature gonna be on the rooftop? Oh, it's gone. But it left some turds. Do you see them dudes? Is this the game? So I just had a genius idea. What if I use the dumpster to check out what this dude has on him? Can I even do that? <gasps> Surge body. I knew it. Plus one rusty key. Yeah, professional gamer. Now that I have the key, I can finally open the door. Open door. Yes. Alright, what we got? Hello, where's the zombies at? Open using flashlight. Okay. I also open medical ca- Cool, now I don't have a flashlight, that's cool. Well, that wasn't a bright idea, I'm dead. Oh, that's a zombie. It says help over there. Am I dead? I probably shouldn't have done this, right? Ah, here I go running. Ha, huh, is that a sword? A fucking revolver? Hell yeah. Fucking... Ah! Dead. I got a gun. The wall looks weak here. Oh, do I have to shoot the wall? Oh, well, so far this is a lot more fun than I thought. Oh, I probably have to push this into the wall, don't I? There's a lot of pushing in this game. I didn't expect that. That's an elevator. Should I explore the wall first? Um, are these people infected because they got white shit going on? Okay, I am just ramming through the bodies. Whoa, what? 
Hey, dude. What are you? Howdy, friend. What are you doing in this horrible place? Yeah, I wish there was a way to skip dialogue. How dare you? This place is my home. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I didn't mean to offend you. There's just a whole bunch of dangling bodies behind you. You should be. Now leave. Oh, I can't pass through the fire. There's invisible walls everywhere. Don't you just hate it when that happens? I feel like he is eating parts of the hanging people here, like the leg that's missing, for instance. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Okay, what's here? There's a lot of floors. The painting. What's up? Well, that's creepy painting. It, it sure is. I mean, the whole setting here is creepy, but like, that's fine. Oh, that's probably N.O. Wait, what do you mean N.O. is like for cars? What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, and that's all the floors, I guess. Okay, so let's uh, break the wall. I wonder if I have to befriend the human cannibal down there, Mr. Lecter. So, the world was struck by a zombie virus, and the zombies are afraid of light. That's, that's what I'm gathering here. Oh, I get it. I think I'm supposed to put the NOS on top of the cart in order to push it through the wall and make a hole. Well, I mean, basically it's nitro, I think, right? Or propane, something like that. All right, let's pick up this baby and then spend another five minutes walking very slowly towards the cart. You know what? Once I break the wall before going through it, I'm gonna try and kill the dude, the cannibal, lector, cannibal person. You know, I can definitely appreciate a good suspenseful soundscape when I hear one. This game definitely has it, like the ambient sounds. Too bad I'm dead inside and it doesn't really affect me. Here we go, I'm gonna put it right in front of the wall for maximum impact. Boop. It did work. How do I turn it on now? I think I have to shoot it, right? Here we go. Good, that didn't work. Does it have to be further away from it? Why does this game have to have accurate physics? I swear to god. You know what, fuck it, first I'm shooting the cannibal. Hey, yo, what's up, Mr. Lecter? I got a gun for you. Dead. <gasps> I was right. He's a bad boy, he killed a man. And I got a meat cleaver. How do I equip that? Fucking whatever. Maybe it's gonna let me meat cleaver this instead of using my bullets for it. I really hope this distance is fine, because if it isn't, I will cry. Can I meat cleaver it now? Nope, guess I still have to shoot it. Well, down to two bullets now. That was good enough. I heard the bang. Oh, that body is gone. Well, well then. <laughs> I definitely did not expect that. It didn't say anywhere on the page that there was a demo. Uh, but... Yeah, this was this was really nice. I'm, it makes me kind of sad because, you know, as I said, this came out in 2017 and it's now been four years since then and no longer version has come out. But hey, you know, maybe Two Shoot Lou will eventually make it and I will definitely play it because this game seems promising. I mean, I would like to know more about what made all the light-fearing zombies. And I mean, the game just has a nice feel. What can I say? I'm a sucker for these kinds of games. But yeah, I guess that will be that for today's video and for the longest road. Clap. If you did enjoy and you haven't done so yet, please do leave a like, it is very much appreciated. Other than that, all the usual stuff as always is down below in the description. I like the subscribe button, which is backwards today because I have inverted my webcam, the join button, Twitter, Discord, all that good stuff. And then, um, yeah, thanks for watching, keep being awesome, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.